Right, this is a lecture on Hamiltonian's equations and canonical transformations as well. So, first, definitions and method as usual. Now, to check it's a canonical transformation, use this equation here, which is... Now, these will be your two transformations that you'll be given in the question, uh, where we have d big Q over d little q, d big P over d little p, minus d big Q over d little p, d big P over d little, little q, and that has to equal 1. If it doesn't, then clearly it isn't a canonical transformation. Don't ask me why. Hamiltonians, uh, you can def simply define, if you're going from a little h with p's and q's, it goes to the big one just by putting in the values for these and these, just putting them into this equation. And Hamiltonian's equations, to find these, what you have to do, you have to remember these equations here, so q dot is dh over dp, after you found this h here, and p dot is minus dh over dq. So and once you've found those, then you can integrate them as with respect to t, so that uh, you'll get a constant term, which will be, in this case, q uh, at the time 0, and here when p is at the time 0, and then anything that's in there will go up by a power of t. Right, example. Show that the transformation q of qp is p squared, and p is p over 2q. Show that's canonical. Right, so we've got to use this equation here, which I said before. So if we do this part first, big Q, look for little q, so we, that'll go to 2q. This one here, p little p, will go to 1 over 2q. So 2q over 2q, which is 1. So 1 minus big Q over little p. Uh, there's no p's in this, so it'll go to 0. So this term we don't even have to include, but I've done it here, minus p over 2q squared, but you'll end up with 1. So 1 minus 0 is 1. So it's a canonical transformation. Now, using the Hamiltonian, h of p squared, h is p squared over 8q squared minus alpha q squared, find q of t and p of t. Right. Now, here we have to substitute in the values which we have from this question here and here. So q is q squared, so we can put a q here, so it's alpha q, and here is p over 2q, and we'll recognize this as p squared, which would be p squared over 4q squared times a half. Yeah? Now you just have to look at these, they're usually not that hard in the exam questions anyway. So we'll have p squared over 2 minus alpha q. Yeah? Next thing we want to do is we want to use the equations here, which is q dot equals dh over dp, and p dot is minus dh over dq. So if we work them out, q dot will be equal to p, because the 2 will cancel, there's no p there, and p dot will be equal to minus, when you get the q's, which will be another minus, so it'll just be alpha. Now, like I said, we want to get, we want to integrate them. So we can do the p's first. So if we do the p first, because we've got a p there, and this is p dot, so there's no point in integrating this because the p will just disappear, really. So we'll do the p dot, which will go to, uh, well, p of t will equal p z at zero plus alpha times t, yeah, because we've gone up a power. And now we can substitute this value which we have for p into here, so q dot will be equal to p naught plus alpha t, and we integrate this, so we have our q zero plus p naught times t plus alpha t squared over two, and that's the Hamiltonian equations.